Hey DJs, welcome back to the channel. Off the back of the launch of the Alpha Theta AZ, we're gonna be looking into the Battle of the Standalone four channel units. This will be the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus, the Opus Quad, and the Alpha Theta AZ. We're gonna be comparing the feature set, price point, and much more, so stick around to find out which is the best unit for you. Now, you may have noticed something different about the name, the Alpha Theta XDJ AZ. This new unit is being released under the Alpha Theta branding and will be dropping the iconic Pioneer DJ branding we've all come to know and love. This signifies a shift in how the brand will be perceived and I'm looking forward to delving deep into this feature set and comparing it against the other units. First, let's talk about a feature that every DJ has been waiting for since the release of the XDJ XZ. This new unit, the AZ, is a true four channel standalone unit. This means you can utilize your USBs across all four channels. Its predecessor, the XDJ XZ, unfortunately wasn't truly four channel standalone as you can only utilize channel one and two and have inputs running on three and four. Or if you wanted to utilize digital tracks on three and four, you had to connect your laptop running Serato DJ or Recordbox DJ as well. Both the Prime 4 and the Opus Quad have the four channel standalone feature available, allowing you to run digital tracks across all four channels. But where the XDJ AZ does take the cake is the fact it has a familiar layout similar to that of a club experience. This unit is basically two 3000s and a DJM A9 all compact together in one sleek unit. Whereas if you turn to the Opus Quad, that has a more premium film leaning into a modern design. And let's not forget about the Prime 4 Plus. The Prime 4 Plus leans into that club experience as well with its intuitive interface and it's easy to use. Like I said before, the XDJ AZ is a combination of two units, the CDJ 3000s and the DJM A9. They've taken it one step further with the AZ and incorporated the mixer effects from the DJM A9 directly into this unit, which you can see on the linear X pad. The XDJ AZ utilizes the new and improved effects system that can be found on units such as the DJM A9. Not only have they changed how the color effects is arranged, but how we interact with the X pad, which is a linear pad. Let's give it a listen. Once our track is engaged and playing, we can then touch the X-pad to turn the effect on and we can see it turns on here. Once we let go, the effect stops being activated. We can then touch the effect and scrub to the left, changing the beat increments. If we then go to a different effect such as triplet filter, we can see the parameters change. If we turn up the level depth to hear it more, if we touch the center, it goes as normal and if we scrub to the left, it gets shorter. And then if we scrub to the right, it gets slower. Linking back to the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus and the Opus Quad, they do have a familiar feel when we're utilizing the effect. Although it's not a linear bar, we can activate the effects through the screen and almost have the same options in terms of speeding up the effect, filtering it as well as we scroll left to right, up and down. And since we're talking about screen interface and usage, we have to talk about the new display on the XDJ AZ. We now have a 10.1 inch display that allows us to see everything and utilize it to its fullest extent. It provides clear instant access to essential settings, as well as gives us information which takes cues from the CDJ series. Those who have used the previous Pioneer DJ XDJ XZ will realize once you use a 3000 screen, it does start to feel dated once you revert back. So this refresh on the AZ is something which is needed. It allows this unit to be pushed into the same region as their flagship units, the CDJ3000 and the DJM A9. One key standout feature that utilizes the screen as well as the onboard track analyzation on the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus is the ability to change the beat grid of tracks which haven't been put through Recordbox or Engine DJ. This is amazing as it allows you to change the beat grid on the fly of tracks that you might have just loaded up on a whim. This can't be found on the Opus Quad or the XDJ AZ, so it's one of my favorite features to utilize on the Prime 4 Plus. And let's not forget the Opus Quad in this conversation. The Opus Quad has something the Prime 4 does not have and that is three screens. 
although this feature has been transferred across in a way over to the XDJ-AZ. We can actually utilize the on-jog displays by double tapping the display button, which is the shift function. We also get additional information displayed on our on-jog displays. This includes our hot cues, as well as our pad effects and what effects we're utilizing, the different beat increments that are available when we switch to an effect like slip roll. This allows you to have a multitude of multitasking capabilities, allowing you to either mix two tracks and also perform some track maintenance on the main screen at the same time. The Denon DJ Prime 4 is a powerhouse in a standalone DJ market known for its exceptional flexibility. It offers four depth mixing, a multi-core processor, and a large high resolution display, making it perfect for DJs who need robust hardware at the club, on the road, or even at a private event. What sets apart the Prime 4 from the other units is its versatility, offered by the amount of storage capability, and also the ability to stream tracks directly to the unit. For all you mobile DJs out there, the XDJ AZ does have streaming capabilities. You can connect this unit directly to Beatport. Although other major services aren't available, we do hope to see this in the future. And linking back to that, the Denning DJ Prime 4, for example, can link to Tidal, SoundCloud Go, Beatport, and BeatSource. So in the future, we hope that this has the same capabilities. That's where the Denning DJ Prime 4 does shine, but it's nice to see that we can connect to Beatport and still access a streaming service on the Alpha Theta XDJ AZ. The Denon DJ Prime 4 is brimming with updates through the Engine DJ software, allowing you to stay up to date and have the most modern tech available for your unit, which is updated regularly. The Pioneer DJ Opus Quad, which released in 2023, redefined high-end DJ controllers with stunning design that merges form with functionality. Its sleek curved front panels and elegant lines makes it a perfect centerpiece for luxury venues and corporate events and also upscale functions. If you're looking for a DJ system that's both impressive in functionality and aesthetic, something like the Opus Quad might be perfect for you. But if you're looking for something a bit more simplistic, traditional, and has an intuitive feel that you've used before, I would suggest something like the Alpha Theta AZ or even the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus, as these may serve you better for your needs. Now let's circle back to the Alpha Theta XDJ AZ and why it stands out in this battle. While the Denon DJ Prime 4 offers unmatched flexibility and the Opus Quad exudes elegance, the XDJ AZ offers that and a little bit more. When we look at some of the features that are packed in this unit, it shows that. For example, the Sonic Link technology, which is directly inserted into this unit, as well as the Bluetooth connectivity capabilities. The Bluetooth capability is amazing. If there's any tracks that you haven't inserted onto a USB stick or have available, you can just connect your phone and run them through the mixer. Although you won't be able to control them in the same way you would a USB track, you'll be able to apply effects and manipulate them in that way. And then looping back to the Sonic Links technology which we talked about earlier, this made its first appearance on the Wave 8. And this has now been implemented on this mixer, allowing you to connect your HD F10s directly to this unit, allowing you to have a wireless DJ experience. So which standalone system takes the crown? If you're looking for total flexibility, the Denon DJ Prime 4 is hard to beat with its multi-layer performance and streaming options, as well as value for money and portability, especially for mobile DJs. The Pioneer DJ Opus Quad offers us a sleek, reliable design that's perfect for any event where the stage is also part of the decor. And it doesn't compromise on beauty against performance and encapsulates both together into one sleek unit. And finally, the Alpha Theta AZ, a fresh perspective with a streamlined interface, cutting edge technology and abundance of connectivity this unit is built with the future of DJs in mind, combining two units, the CDJ3000 and the DJM A9, all together in one sleek package without the large price tag. Which one do you think is the king of the standalone units? Let us know in the comments section. And if you'd like to test this unit out for yourself, feel free to head into your local Bop DJ in Leeds, Manchester and Bristol. And we also offer 0% finance on this unit and all the ones discussed in this video and many more. So feel free to get in contact and we'll be glad to help. With that being said, it's been myself, Jono at Bop DJ, and until next time.